NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. Now I am going to discuss about mess and super mess concepts with the independent source. These topics are very much important for GATE, IES, ISRO, and other government engineering examination. Let me discuss. For the concept understanding, I am going to solve three type of problems. In type one, there is no current source. In type two, there is a current source in between the two loops. In the type two, there is a current source in the loop two. If you know the superbus concepts clearly, you can solve the three type of problems. Let, let me discuss the first uh, type. Let us take these points A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Loops, individual loops. A, B, E, F are one of the individual loops and B, C, D, E are second individual loop. Combined loops, these loops A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, these loops are combined loop. KVL applicable for all the loops, uh, individual loop as well as the combined loops. Mesh analysis directly measures the individual loop current. Here, the individual loop current I1 and I2. The objective is to find the loop current I1 and I2. Here unknown parameter is 2. Individual loop current I1 and I2. If we know the two equations, we can solve, we can find the two unknown parameter. So we need the two equations. By we can apply the KVL for this loop as well as this loop and also for the combined loop also. For equation 1, we may apply the KVL for loop 1. If you don't know the KVL, just refer the KVL concepts. The video is attached in the description box of the video. Just refer it. For, for applying the KVL, first apply the polarity on the resistors. Plus minus, positive should be in the current direction. Plus minus. By the Kripps voltage law, algebraic sum of voltage around a loop is equal to 0. Algebraic sum means if the current enters from plus to minus, that voltage is positive voltage. If the current is entered in the minus to plus, then the voltage is minus voltage. Now apply KVL for this loop. Here, this just current flows here, flow from here. Point A2. This current flows from plus to minus. So positive polarity, positive voltage. Voltage is equal to I into R. By Ohm's law, voltage is equal to I into R. Okay. This current is I1. This resistance is 1000 ohms. 1k ohms. Here, this loop current, this branch current. This branch current. Top to bottom. I1 flows from top to bottom. I2 flows from bottom to top. So, the net current is I1 minus I2 from top to bottom. Or otherwise, I2 minus I1 current from bottom to top. Okay, so this current top to bottom is I1 minus I2. So here this voltage is current into resistor, current is I1 minus I2, the resistor is 3000 ohm. So plus to minus the positive voltage. Here this current enters from minus to plus. So minus voltage minus 10 is equal to 0. Algebraic sum of voltage around a loop is equal to 0. By simplifying the equation, we can get 4000 I1. Here 1000 I1, here 3000 I1, totally 4000 I1 minus 3000 I2 is equal to 10. This is the equation 1. We need another one equation. Then only we can solve, we can find the two unknown parameter. Equation 2, we may apply the KVL for the equation 2. Just to mark the polarity in the current direction. Plus minus, here plus minus. Current flow from bottom to bottom top here so plus minus so this voltage is equal to current i2 into 2000 this voltage directly voltage is known 2 volt i2 into 2000 plus 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 to minus current enters from plus to minus so 2 volt here current flows from bottom to top so i2 minus i1 i2 minus i1 3000 ohms is equal to 0 by simplifying equations, minus 3000 I1 plus 5000 I2 is equal to minus 2. By solving the equation 1, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. By solving the equation 1 and 2, we can get the answers. I1 is equal to 4 milliampere, I2 is equal to 2 milliampere. This is mis misconcepts. Concepts are objectives to find the individual current 
let me discuss a second problem here there is a current source between loop 1 and 2 by kitchen's voltage law we need voltage here we need only the current value i don't we don't know the internal resistance of the current source okay if we know the internal resistance of the current source we can find the voltage is equal to current into resistance but we don't know the internal resistance of the current source so we may we cannot apply the kvl for the loop 1 and loop 2 here same concepts for finding the two unknown individual loop current we need two equations because two individual here two individual loop here kvl cannot apply for the loop 1 because there is current source Similarly, we can, cannot, cannot apply the KVL for loop 2 also, where there is a current source. If you know the internal resistance, we can apply, but we don't know the internal resistance. Because voltage is equal to current into resistance. If the current source is present in any one of the loop, that mass is called a super mass. This is super mass, this is super mass, loop 1, loop, loop 2 or super mass. For finding the equation 1, apply the kvl for the combined loop in the combined loop there is no current source we can apply the kvl for the loop so by applying the kvl for the combined loop we can find the equation one so here is the current one this is the current two apply the polarity plus minus plus minus here current enters from plus minus so positive voltage i1 into 1000 here current enters from plus to minus so i2 into 2000 ohms here current enters from plus to minus so 2 volt here current enters from negative to positive so minus 10 volt is equal to 0 start this current from this point a point simplify this equation 1000 i1 plus 2000 i2 is equal to 8 divided by 1000 i1 plus 2 i2 is equal to 0 0.008 we need another one equation how to find the other one equation we cannot apply the cable for the loop 1 loop 2 we can apply the cable for the outer loop combined loop we need another one equation how to find the other one equations we can find the another equation by using the current source the current flow from top to part this current flow from in this branch current flow from bottom to top so this current i2 flows from bottom to top and i2 i1 flows from top to bottom so i2 and this current source in the same direction i1 and current source in the opposite direction so this current in this branch current is equal to i2 minus i1 so i2 minus i1 is equal to 10 milliampere by using this current source we can up, we can find one equation okay the polarity should be correct one if you write i1 minus i2 is equal to n milliampere that the result will give the wrong answers we may write this equation minus i1 plus i2 is equal to 0 0.01 add this to equation i1 i1 will be cancelled 3 i2 is equal to 0 0.018 i2 is equal to 0 0.06 6 milliampere substitute i2 in this equation we will get i1 is equal to minus 0 0.04 ampere the final answer is i1 is equal to minus 4 milliampere i2 is equal to 6 milliampere anyway, let me solve the third problems in this problem the current source is present in the loop 2 for the same concepts here individual loop is two loops so two unknown parameter so we need the two equations here current source is present in the second loop so we cannot apply the cable for the second loop as well as the combined loop we cannot apply the cable for the combined loop because in the combined loop there is a current source okay for finding the equation one we may apply the cable for the first loop loop 1 so apply the KVL on the loop 1 mark the polarity the current from point 8 enters plus to minus positive voltage 
so i won it 1000 plus here current flow from top to bottom it is branch current flow from top to bottom so the current will be i1 minus i2 because i1 flows top to bottom i2 enters bottom to top so i1 minus i2 okay this current is branch current is equal to i1 minus i2 the resistance value 3000 here current enters from minus to plus so minus 10 is equal to 0 simplify this equation 4000 i1 minus 3000 i2 is equal to 10 okay how to find the second equation we, we cannot apply the KVL for the second loop and the combined loop so we may find the second equation by using the current source this i2 and 10 milliampere flows in the opposite direction so i2 is equal to minus 10 milliampere if i2 and this current source in the same direction i2 is equal to that current value but the i2 and this current source in the opposite direction so i2 will be negative okay substitute the i2 values in the equation we will get i1 is equal to minus 0 0.005 ampere i1 is equal to minus 5 milliampere i2 is equal to minus 10 milliampere finally conclusion if the circuit is pure mesh there is no current source just apply the KVL for the loop 1 and KVL for the loop 2 uh, simplify the equation and we can get the answers if the mesh is super mesh there is a current source we cannot apply the KVL for that loop so apply the KVL for other loops use the current source to find the other equation then simplify it we can find, get the answers now we will check whether our discussion concept is correct or not by using an simulation to know the current value we may take the probe current probe the i1 current is 4 milliampere and i2 current is 2 milliampere Other, otherwise we may use the current source value our discussed concept for the problem one is correct now uh, we will check the second problem there is a current source instead of 3 kilo resistors this answer i1 is minus 4 milliampere i2 is equal to 6 milliampere the second problem answer is also correct so we discussed the concepts for the second problem is correct now we will check third problem the answer is I1 is minus 4.9997 milliamps minus 5 milliamps I2 is equal to minus 9.99 milliamps minus 10 milliamps okay our discussed concept is correct in the do it yourself the first question is asked in K2018 instrumentation engineering department here three mess I1 I2 I3 we have to find I1 I2 I3 this is super mess concept because the current source is between I1 and I3. Okay. We cannot apply the KVL for this first loop and third loop. But we need the three equations because three unknown parameter. First, we may apply the KVL for this second loop. That, we, that will give the equation one. This current is I2 minus I1 because I3 current is from left to right, I2 current flows from right to left. The net resultant current in this branch is I2 minus I1 from right to left here i1 current flows i2 current flows from right to left i2 current flow i1 current flows from left to right the resultant current from right to left is i2 minus i1 uh, second equation we can we can form the second equation by applying kvl for the combined loop this loop outer loop okay this second equation third equation we can form the third equation by using the current source by solving the three equations we can get the answers okay. the second question this question is asked in Indian engineering service examination 2018 electrical department our objective is to find the branch current i1 i2 i3 so let us take the loop current is ia this loop current is ib this inner loop is ic 
okay we cannot apply kvl for this first loop and third loop because there is current source but we need three equations to find the three individual loop current so i is equal to 5 amps i b is equal to 3 amps apply the kvl for this inner loop find the ic value the branch current i1 is equal to ia minus ic this branch current is equal to ic the i3 branch this branch current is equal to ic minus ib that question is asked in iso 2018 examination there is no current source only mesh analysis apply the kvl for the loop 1 loop 2 loop 3 uh, solve this equation we will get the answers try to solve if you feel any difficulties just comment thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notification like comment and share see you next time